Oh, good morning, everybody, and uh, yes, welcome to Juma Private Game Reserve. And uh, a nice thing this morning, as we had Marips yesterday morning, or Steve had Marips yesterday morning, and we're trying to follow up on the leopards around here. And so far, it looks like we've got beautiful young male leopard tracks. I'm just going to circle it here. It's always nice to circle it, and you can see exactly where. So you can see the little back pad there. There we go. And we've got the four toes. There we go. So this is a young male leopard, and I'm sure for Mareps. And Steve is busy following up on Tlalama at the moment. They're in the uh, drainage line uh, to the Molawati, just to the west of us. And this young male leopard is heading into that direction. So hoping that he doesn't pick up on the scent of uh, Tlalamba or the cubs, um, and uh, at least they can stay safe. Fortunately, leopards are leopards. That's just uh, in their instinct is just to kind of, if it's not their cubs, they'll kill the cubs and uh, move on. So, yeah, let's cross fingers that that does not happen. Right, let's go. Uh, we've got her tracks coming in on uh, Central, uh, but then she turned, looks like maybe a little bit north, uh, I think towards uh, Gwari Pan Road. I'm going to just take a look in the drainage line there at one of the two of those cars there. All right, so it's a nice thick drainage line, very deep. Um, it's one of the areas that she likes using this site. Typical for leopards, a lovely little spot here for her. Nice and safe, out of uh, prying eyes like hyenas, lions. You know, so it's a perfect little hiding spot for her cubs. Stash right. Plus you've got nice trees here. The cubs need to climb up on a tree. Always can use that. And then you've got all these rocks, nice little rocks for a little cub just to be hiding inside of under all these uh, branches. So a nice little spot for her. We always just come and take a look. Um, we know that there's nothing here now, but it's always a good thing just to. Ooh, don't worry. So a nice little crevice under there. I don't find the ones who even they can put the cubs deep underneath here. Nothing will find those cubs in the spot here. Perfect. All right. But anyway, I think further ado, I think let's uh, let us start making our way out. There is Morsi. We are coming back to Morsi. So slowly but surely heading back to the vehicle. The next step to your nature connection is to come to South Africa to see all these beautiful, magnificent places that we share with you on Wild Earth. All you have to do is go on to wildearth.travel to find out more and you can plan your epic adventure. Slowly but surely we've got a nice herd of elephants that's just approaching us here at, uh, at uh, Biffleshook Dam. Perfect wind direction, the wind is coming from them to us and so not from us to them. So they're going to feel a little bit more relaxed but you can see this matriarch is not too, I'm going to say, relaxed but she's first checking out making sure it's all nice and soft it's, uh, safe but there's a little one with them as well a very small calf we just have to stay very so, so very still and very quiet so come in my element here same as panda both are, we're both in our element here at the moment, which is fantastic. It's so nice just to be around wild animals and you're on foot and you can just see them from where we are now. You can see how things she's hearing us now. I think she's picking up on the noise. I'm just going to keep quiet.
guys, we've got a python here. I'm just gonna hear some elephants here as well. This is absolutely a huge snake. The largest snake in Africa. A rock python, African rock python. Look at this. This is amazing. And the size of this is about, what do you think, under three and a half meters. And they get up to six meters, but this is absolutely a huge one. And then let's come around this way. We're going to just do it slowly. There is elephants behind us. We've just got to watch out. Look at this, everybody. This is, oh, this is amazing. They're not venomous, they are constrictors. And they've got razor sharp teeth. So what they'll do sometimes, they'll actually hold their prey, constrict it and then use it as razor sharp teeth to kind of force that prey down. And amazing to see the snake at this time of the year. but he did not want to get bitten by this. We just had to move away from that uh, uh, African or the python now because these elephants, the wind has directly come from us straight to these elephants now and it's a huge herd of elephants here, a big breeding herd and uh, you can see some of the females have lifted their trunks up and smelling us here and just trying to work out so I do not want to push that situation but my goodness gracious what a snake what a snake if you enjoyed the video please hit the bell for notifications and subscribe to our YouTube channel or else you can just join up as a YouTube member and stay connected with nature